Hi, and welcome back to the Ascension Playground. Um, my name is Ursi, and today I wanted to go and revisit the Star Seeds Astrology online calculator that's free. And you can go online and basically look at what your soul journey has been, and you can test it for accuracy. But if you're like me and you enjoy playing with stories and narratives and just seeing, you know, how does this astrology work? Well, astrology has gone galactic by adding in the fixed stars to our solar system's planets. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you. I know that my friend Anne-Marie and I had earlier, when we first launched um, the Ascension Playground, did about three parts um, on the playlist for Star Seeds Astrology, but it's been a while and I wanted to go back and revisit this. So. If you type in the words starseedsastrology.com, you can see it up there on the screen. I've gone ahead. Oh, and here's, here's the calculator, natal chart calculator. I've placed in one of my children's birth dates. Okay. And so when I get to the city, I start typing in the city she was born. And I find it and I punch the word calculate. Okay, so then I have to scroll down and with my mouse, I copy and then I come over here to this side where it says copy and paste the planet's position data. So then I paste it over there and then I choose the word import natal chart data. When I hit that button, this one here, you can see below that the sun, the moon, Mercury and Venus and all the other planets show up here in this type of report. But we begin first with what, what's called a basic report. This will show the predominant constellations that have either conjunctions or opposition. So let's start here by clicking this button, basic report. And yes, she was born in the year 2003. Okay. So if you get to this screen, you're saying, what happened? You have to scroll down, scroll down. Here we go. Here's the report. All right, I'm circling it. And what we're going to find is the sun is in Capricorn. And she has a starseed connection to the constellation called Canis Minor, the little dog. Okay. Nothing in the moon line as far as a conjunction or opposition or the ascendant. But here, NN means North Node. For her, it's in Gemini. And she has three constellations in both her North Node and her South Node. Hyades, Taurus, and Scorpius. Okay, I'll just keep going down the list. MC means the Midheaven, which she has in Scorpio has a very strong connection to Centaurus. Now these are names of constellations within our Milky Way galaxy, okay? So um, not to be confused with a fixed star. We first have the constellation and within the constellation are the fixed stars. And we'll get to the stars in a minute. But first, let's look at her Mercury line, which is in Capricorn. She has connections to Canis Major and Lyra. Her Venus in Sag, or Sagittarius, has again Hyades, Taurus, Scorpius. We're seeing this triple lineup now in her nodal points and in her Venus. For Mars and Scorpio, she has the Pleiades and Centaurus. For Saturn and Gemini, Orion and Auriga, Uranus is connected to Hydra or Hydra. There was nothing in her Jupiter line or her Neptune line, but she sure has a lot of constellations, I would say. So then in Pluto, Orion and Lepus, Lilith, Andromeda, Chiron, Canis Major, and POF means part of fortune is in Cancer, Canis Major, and Lyra. Okay, so what does all this mean? Well, I'm learning to become a practitioner in Julia Balazs's um, quantum uh, soul healing 
as a galactic astrologer. And what she teaches us first is to look at our Pluto line. The Pluto line, which my daughter has, Orion and Lepus. This will perhaps give me a great clue to where her soul originated when it came into this galaxy. So pre-galaxy, pre-entering, she started in the Orion and the Lepus constellations. I'm going to check those orbs to see which one is closest. So I'll be able to tell her this is where you originated. Now where you originated isn't usually front of mind or very familiar to us. It indicates origin. So if you want to know where your star family is from, where you are from, you can look very closely at your Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus. But we go in this order with Pluto first, as it's the most outermost planet, even though I know some people are calling it a dwarf planet. Okay, and then the constellation that my daughter is going to most feel comfortable with will be in Canis Minor, where her son in Capricorn has a connection. And Canis Minor, when you learn the story of the little dog and, its, and, and the specific fixed star, she may feel more comfortable with that energy or that story because she was recently there. This is how you play the game of galactic soul travel. All right, but before I leave this page, for anyone listening, I wanted to tell you that um, if you just even look at any of these, all of these would be star family. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment and say, so yes, your star family, those constellations, make a list, start there. I'm going to pause here for a moment, and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. So let's get back to our wonderful Star Seeds Astrology. This has been such a great gift that Julia Balaz has brought forward with our friend Hector. So let's see if I can. Let me stop share for a moment and... Hi, I'm back. So I wanted to again say how exciting I am. Hi, I'm back. So here we go with Julia Balaz's Star Seeds Astrology online calculator. Had to pause for a moment, but I'm back. So here we go. And I was reviewing my daughter's um, basic report of her constellations. So this is the one, the button you push after you've input all your material, your natal information, you get this very basic one for the starseed connections that are the strongest. But to get to an extended report of the star systems, I like to hit both of these, show trine, sextile, square, and show degrees. And then I hit this box over here called extended report. And again, I have to scroll down. Here we go. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. So I'm going to come a little bit like that. So now we can see in a much more um, comprehensive report. Here is the first aspect is her sun line, which is in Capricorn at 26 degrees, six minutes in the 12th house. Just that data alone tells us a little something about um, how she chose to come in in this lifetime for regular astrology, perhaps either Western or Vedic. This narrative, though, moves into more of the galactic as we start looking at fixed stars. So she has a connection to Canis Minor, to her sun, which is opposite Procyon, which is a fixed star in that Canis Minor constellation. Virgo constellation has a square, Boots constellation another square, and Centaurus um, constellation has a sextile to Beta Centauri Hadar. All right, so playing the galactic game, we're looking at oppositions or conjunctions, and we're finding that Canis Minor has an opposition to her son. So I'm going to later go look at what is the story of the fixed star Procyon, P-R-O-C-Y-O-N, because it's going to help inform me of another layer to my daughter's astrology with a fixed star galactic narrative. 
okay? Also, the story here will help her understand this is an energy level or an energy that you brought with you that might feel very familiar. Um, but as I said earlier, when we look at the Pluto line and we look, here's line 14, Pluto in Sagittarius, 18 degrees, 48 minutes in the 11th house. I'm looking for conjunctions and oppositions to help, help understand her origin. Where was her initial point of origin in this galaxy? We're seeing the Cetus constellation with the trine. Orion has an opposition, and the constellation Lepus has an opposition. So the next trick is to find out within orb which one is the closest, and that typically tells us the story of origin. Here we can see Lepus is opposite her Pluto um, by 0.55 minutes. Okay, so the fixed star is called Nihal. Whereas the opposition in Orion to her Pluto is at one degree, 55 minutes, two degrees, 12 minutes, either to Regal or Bellatrix. So I'm going to make the theory that my daughter began in the constellation Lepus with the fixed star Nihal. That is her soul's origin. And it's always fun to go look and see if you find that same like um, star system anywhere else in her in her galactic report. All right, well, I hope that's helpful. One last thing to share, because boy, as I'm learning to become a practitioner, you can unfold so much in just what this free online calculator gives you. And if you're interested at all in learning how to read the tea leaves, up here at the top, you'll see an online course selection. When I click on that, it takes me to Starseeds Teachable, where Julia Balaz offers classes. And it's taking a little while. Here you go. I'm in, I actually signed up for all four of her classes. She has a higher self-connection class, your life purpose astrology. Let's see what this one's the Starseed Journey Astrology. And then the Quantum Soul Guidance is really a practitioner's course. So here you go. You want to know your life purpose? Click on this um, class. The Starseeds Journey Astrology is for those who really are new to astrology and new to galactic interpretations of the astrology. So a good place to start is here. And if you're serious about um, becoming a practitioner like I am, for myself, friends, and family. Um, this is a much more intensive class and you actually get to meet other classmates and it's, it's truly remarkable. Well, I'm gonna stop sharing there for a minute. It's just been a, a delight for me. Anytime I can talk to you about Starseeds Astrology on the Ascension Playground, um, it just fills my cup and it's how I move towards my own aliveness. I can't explain why, but looking up at the night sky, learning how to read astrology, looking at different divinatory oracular systems. It, it fills my cup. I know it's odd for some or strange or maybe even a little scary because it does deal with, well, my interests usually deal with what's hidden, the mysteries of life, or they call that word the occult, which really just means that which is hidden. And we're finding that Science and spirituality are now starting to merge, and science is starting to find data that proves a lot of the things that the spiritual teachers have once or have been sharing with us for decades, even centuries. So that's all I got for you today on the Ascension Playground. If you would like a little mini galactic starseeds astrology reading, and you're listening to me, I'll take the five first people that put a little chat say, I'd like a little reading and I'm happy to um, do what I can do. You know, you get what you pay for. This would be free. So if you want to help me practice and become a better practitioner, um, for, again, the first five people who either connect with me or send me a little chat, um, let it be me. Um, I'm happy to, to practice and thank you. Thank you for listening. And if I've done anything, it'd be just to help just open that conversation that as we look up 
outside our earth and look at the stars in the heavens and look at some of the photographs coming back from NASA. It's just fascinating to be alive in 2022 and to start embracing ourselves as more than just um, citizens of earth, but more about galactic ambassadors here to help start letting others also look up on an Ascension playground. Till next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.